guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Udo Kiwago and welcome to the Self Care Family. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. So on today's video, I'm going to be talking about this particular skincare. It has had a lot of mixed reviews and I've used this so far and I'm like, why is there a mixed review about this product? Like, why the hell are people saying this and that about this product? Now, this is the Natarium Exfoliant. This is the BHA Liquid Exfoliant 2% Salicylic Acid. Now, if you know what BHA is, you know that the major purpose of this ingredient is to help decongest your pores and also exfoliate your skin. A lot of us go about our normal day wearing makeup, wearing skincare, wearing sunscreen, like getting involved in like really taxing duties or activities. So the sweat the doors, the dirt, everything is just on your face and all you do is just go into your room, go into your bathroom, pour water on your skin, use soap on your face or probably use your cleanser forgetting that you need to remove those dead skin cells. When you exfoliate, you tend to remove those old skin cells and then you have like a freshly revived and renewed skin on your face or on your body. So first things first, how do you use this product? How do you use this product? Now, since this is a salicylic acid, this is not for daily use. Except if your skin tolerates salicylic acid, then it's fine for you to use for daily use because of, depending on how, um, how mild or how high saturated it is, depending. However, I would advise, please do not use your BHA or your salicylic acid every single day. It's going to strip your skin, it's going to cause redness, it's going to cause sensitivity, it's going to cause irritation. For me personally, I use it at least three times weekly, just for the most part, because I know I always wear sunscreen, I always um, apply makeup, I really, I know that there are so many pore clogging ingredient in some of the products that we use and it's very important for us or for you to always use your salicylic acid to decongest your clogged pores. For every review I make in my posts, in my page, in my channel, I'll always say I am not a professional dermatologist, neither am I. I am a licensed esthetician. This, my review is mostly based on my personal experience, my personal use, and like just my own point of view, the user point of view, the consumer point of view. So don't come and say, you did put, Udoga put that, do, 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 do. if you really want to know better and intense information about a particular skincare, please and please go and meet a professional um, dermatologist or a licensed esthetician but in my best opinion this is what I know based on using it as a consumer this is what I know so this contains 2% salicylic acid and bioactive fruit extract which is the acai fruit extract now for most people who have very very pr problematic skin they will say that this is not effective but i will say that it is effective it is effective now most people will just apply salicylic acid twice weekly that is because of how it is formulated it is formulated with like a very high saturation that when you use it like two times or more than two times a week it becomes very harsh on the skin but the way this is formulated is it is formulated in the most gentle way that even if you apply it four times weekly it will still not strip your skin that is how gentle this particular product is and this is how i use it i do not use a cotton pad but if you want to use a cotton pad that is fine with you but i do not use a cotton pad i use my palm to apply this so let me demonstrate how I use this. Mind you, the reason I'm making this review is because I'm almost running out of this particular 
um, salicylic acid, which means I might be replacing it. And this is the best time for me to make a review. So I'm going to take a decent amount in my palm. Take my hair backwards. Mind you, I literally have nothing on my skin except that I washed my face and I'm out and my face is still dry and I'm applying this on dry skin. So now I'm done applying this on my skin. Unlike some other salicylic acids, when you apply it, it like dries your skin and all of that. This particular salicylic acid does not dry your skin. It leaves you with like a beautiful, like hydrated feeling. It does not dry your skin. It, you don't feel tight dry. It just sits on your skin and sinks in beautifully. Um, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't advise a pregnant woman to use this. If you ever intend using salicylic acid, I think if you're pregnant, please go and meet your dermatologist and seek advice if you should introduce this into your routine. Most of these active, like retinol, salicylic acid, um, AHA, um, and the rest of them, they usually affect the baby when you use. So it is best that before you use a particular, I know retinol is cancelled out entirely in a routine of a pregnant woman. Retinol, hydroquinone, they are all cancelled out in a pregnant, a pregnant woman's routine. However, for salicylic acid, I'm not fully sure if a pregnant woman should use it. But if you know you're pregnant and you really want to use salicylic acid, please consult a professional dermatologist to seek the best advice if you should use it, if you shouldn't. And then, for normal people who are not pregnant, how do you use, how do you pair up your salicylic acid? On days that you're wearing your salicylic acid, I wouldn't advise you wear your vitamin C, your retinol, your AHA, and also your benzoyl peroxide. Because these are very, like, very strong active that when paired together, it can alter the performance of the other active that you already have on your skin and it might cause irritation, sensitivity and it might cause redness. So please avoid some of these actives that I have called when using salicylic acid. You are not going to see an immediate result when applying your salicylic acid. Please, I would advise to wait for 6 to 12 weeks before you start expecting a visible result. This helps in the congesting your pores. It helps with black heads and white heads. It also helps in exfoliating your skin. What did I say? Please do not expect a visible result. Even up until one month, do not expect a visible result. You can start expecting your visible result from 6 weeks to 12 weeks when using salicylic acid. This retails for 16,000 naira when I bought it, but I'm very sure that at the moment it retails from 20 to 24,000 naira. Because of the dollar hype, hike in Nigeria, it has really, really like increased. You can get it from Tulip Beauty. That is where I got my own. So you can get it from Tulip Beauty and Feral Beauty too. They are all on Instagram. I don't know if Tika sells it. I don't know if, if oh, Coco Rocher also sells this particular, um, salicylic acid. So if you want to get this salicylic acid, you should check Coco Rocher. Bear in mind, this is 2% salicylic acid. You can use it three to four times in a week, but please do not eat it more than four times. In fact, when you're using it four times, that is because you have understood your skin and you know that your skin can actually tolerate it. Please, you can actually just stick to three times weekly. But once you've tried it and you see that your skin, because personally, I can use it four times and I will not have any sort of irritation because I now understand that my skin really accepts this particular product. But if you know that your skin does not, might not really accept it, please stick three times weekly or even minimum two times weekly, but maximum three times weekly until you understand the performance of this particular product on your skin. 
hold up let me freeze you in right there a little bit so salicylic acid is supposed to remove blackheads and whiteheads from your skin with that being said let's continue if you're a pregnant woman please seek the advice of your dermatologist before incorporating it into your routine do not expect immediate effectability or effectiveness when using this particular product and also please do not pair it up with every other active like hydroquinone retinol vitamin c aha aha or benzoyl peroxide with that being said this is the end of my video if you love this type of content where i talk about certain skincare how to use it where to get them please Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Also leave a comment on what you want to see on my next video. Give me a big thumbs up if you love my content. Until then, I will see you on my next one. Bye.